We start in the middle of the poem. Right. And we go all the way through. Mm -hmm. And then we do, uh, yeah, then we do like the fourth bar. And then I go back to the beginning. And I go back to the beginning, I leave a big space for you to say you taste cake and helium. Mm. And then I basically go through, all the way through, mm -hmm. to the end of the first jujang, they call it apparently. Yeah, so it's like midway to the end, back to the beginning for taste cake and helium. Second bar is apparently where you say parts of her feel like a cubit. And then, yeah, just all the way through. And this is the long part just before that. That pause there and all of that. That's um, go here a thirteen metameros, but disguise your head with ours like we did with yours. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of that's the okay. only way that I can give you any right. signpost <laughs> at all. It's you know, it, the thing about this is it's like because it's like a really old kind of music. They don't write it down with staves. They write it down with like lines and wiggles for vibratos and things. Mm. So it's very visual. Right. So maybe if we were like sitting together and I said to you, right, we're going to start here. Can you read Hangul much? A little bit. Okay, all right. So, Mangul, and it's prequel to, you know, missing prequel to Genesis. You could potentially follow it visually that way. Mm hmm. I don't know if that, it bothers you that much, if you want to actually try and see. I could play through it and point where mm. we are. Mm, like, do you think that we were that off? No, oh, okay. not too much. Yeah. I, I was off a little oh, bit, okay. but it mm. still worked out okay in the end. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things as well, like I, I exaggerate the length mm. okay. quite a bit. So, yeah, I think there's going to be a little bit of this, okay. but, you know, it's not the biggest problem. Jason's just listening to owner of a lonely heart right now. <laughs> so, ready? Mm -hmm. Prequel to Genesis of the missing second book, Coral Castle. Stare around the grey log. We built it with magnetism and canaries. We built it with jar flies and camphor oil. These images replace the time your brother rolled your arm hair into knots. On the stone heart coffee table, Agnes tucks herself into bed backwards and asks to meet you. You taste cake and helium. Don't try to say, how's your brother's rape making business going in California? hers like they used to. Say it is a coral arc break. Say it is a diet olive twig. Say it is a naked grandfather. Tell her she's wholly responsible. Parts of her will feel like a cupid. These ideas replace the time you grasped the alphabet block bathroom pass and cried. Click your knees and say moccasins. That way, no one will believe what else Agnes says about you. Feel relief when she measures you down with splinters from the same block you used to train yourself to have emotions. Feel important when she voiceovers any ellipsis to whatever you read, like some brief, assumed, disembodied surname in a cellar. Because she still reminds you of adultery and storage. Go, here are 13 Ameros, but disguise your head with ours like we did with yours. Or put this scroll into a black light so you can turn into Atlantis and die. Yeah, there's just a bit of push and pull necessary at times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say generally there's quite a it's quite a mouthful. So um, just give us a look on the day, mm -hmm. okay. and if I'm going <laughs> like in Team America, you know the sign, like then you know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, okay, wait. You said wood wood chops. What was the other one? Um, like wood carving, like chipping away at rocks or okay. oh, cutting nice. up wood. 
or I don't know if you could find this, but maybe like baby stacking blocks. <laughs> like the little baby sounds in the blocks. God, I, I can think of a million sites off of that. <laughs>